Hi guys, so I am getting ready to show you how I make um, homemade deodorant. We're starting with the ingredients, which is cornstarch, baking soda, the virgin coconut oil that you see there, and then I have a big block of um, shea butter that I use for all of my creams, and we're going to be using this for the deodorant. These are the tools that I'm using. I'm just using an empty jar that I sterilized. I've got some essential oils there, um, a whisk, a bowl, and a little pot of hot water. So now what I'm going to do is put the shea butter, we're going to go with three tablespoons um, approximate, three tablespoons of the shea butter. I'm going to go ahead and make this in the jar. Um, this recipe I got from a blog that I um, saw, so I wanted to try it, and it was uh, wellnessmama.com. And so, um, yeah, that's where I got the recipe from. And then here I'm going to put in the coconut oil. So three tablespoons of coconut oil as well. It's a little hard to get that coconut oil out of the jar. Um, as you can see, I'm not doing exact measurements. Um, I'm doing, you know, approximate the best that I can. Um, and you know, coconut oil um, melts very quickly um, with any contact with heat. So um, you can see that on my fingers. Um, I turned on the water so that I can get it hot. I didn't want it scorching hot, but what we're going to do is melt um, these oils and butters together. Okay, so now that I'm done measuring out my coconut oil and my shea butter, I'm going to go ahead and put the jar into the hot water to begin the melting process. Just kind of stirring it around. Now that spoon is not working for me, obviously. It's just <laughs> keeping the oils from staying in the jar. So here you can see um, the butters and the coconut oils in the jar and it's in the hot water and I'm just letting that heat up. So I took my small whisk and I'm just trying to help the process. I don't want to get it completely melted to a liquid form, but um, just enough so that I'm able to um, have a good mixing consistency. So I think I'm just about there. Now we are going to um, I'm going to stir it. You can see I still have some lumps, but it's warm, so um, it will continue to melt. It's actually a little more loose than I wanted it to be, but um, the chunks of shea butter were um, a bit thick. So I'm just kind of breaking that up a little bit more, but you can see that it's pretty much melted um, and softened. And now we will move forward with the rest of the process. So we're going to put in two tablespoons of baking soda. And I list the ingredients just a little bit later in the uh, video. But this is uh, two tablespoons of baking soda I'm going to go ahead and put in the jar. Now baking soda, that box cost me 68 cents. So, I mean, it's very cheap to buy and you know it can be used for so many different things. Um, that helps with saving money. And you see I'm only using a fraction of that to make this jar of deodorant. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now we're not baking, so you want to be as accurate as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just whisking that together, starting to stir. My lumps, uh, the shea butter, has um, 
has dissolved so you see I have it in a completely liquid form and I'm just going to whisk this together so that it's mixed up as best as I can get it kind of scraping the sides to get all the powders um, together now you can use a bowl to do this you can use a double boiler if you'd like um, I found the suggestion of doing it in the jar so that the if there was extra it can be saved in the jar um, and I actually like that better um, so just mix in a way and it's thickening up you can see um, looks more like a cream now you can still see a couple chunks but um, again it's still kinda warm but it's you know loose as you can see like a loose oil So now I'm going to go ahead and put in some essential oils that I have. You can use any essential oil that you prefer. Um, I'm using lavender. This is lavender. And um, again, I'm just using what I have available and what I like. Um, there's no real reason for me choosing these essential oils that, I, that I'm using. Um, the other one I'm putting in here, this is geranium. Geranium is a little difficult to get out of the jar. I mean, you don't want to shake um, essential oil jars too much. You just kind of want them to come out on their own. But I'm a little impatient. So um, didn't want to use a whole lot of geranium. There's not a lot left in my bottle, as you can see. But just wanted to get a couple drops because I really enjoy the scent. And lastly, I'm going to be putting in some eucalyptus. That comes out much faster. Just a few drops of those, maybe about five or so um, drops of those. I put more of the lavender in because I really enjoy lavender essential oils. I really enjoy the smell and the relaxation that it brings. So I'm just stirring this all together. And that is it guys. Once this is all done, I'm going to set it aside to cool and it will begin to harden a little bit more. And then I'm going to place it in those yellow um, containers that I sterilized um, so that we can begin to use it. And there you see, I'm just going to pour it into the container and that's it. Hi, Donisha again. Okay, so I have been using this deodorant for three days and I actually really like it. I wasn't quite sure at first because it's not quite a solid. So um, it, and because of I think the coconut oil especially, it melts really quickly in your hand in, in the used containers that I used. But, um, so what I'm probably going to do is just put it in a jar and apply it with my hands. Um, but me and my fiance have been using it now for three days. And I'm noticing now after day three, even though it's not an antiperspirant, I'm noticing a lot more dryness than I did um, my first day, um, the first two days actually. But um, as far as odor and BO, we are so good. <laughs> There's no need for us to be using the other deodorants that we had. So um, just wanted to do a quick review at the end of this video. I really hope you enjoy it. Again, please leave me your comments and questions and also subscribe to my channel because uh, there will be more things to come as far as natural ways to live and, and um, saving money as well. So anyway, hope you enjoy once again and uh, see you then. See you next time.